Hey, what's up? It's your girl, Diamond Denisha, aka Didi, and this is my YouTube channel, Didi Says So, and I am back with another video. So, as always, if you're new here, welcome. If you're not new here, welcome back. If you like this video, make sure you give a thumbs up, subscribe, click the notification bell so you don't miss any more of my videos. So, today, 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 we have for you how to navigate in your alone era. I'm going to say that again. How to navigate in your alone era. Now, um, first off, happy Valentine's Day, but in case it's not Valentine's Day when you're watching, still watch the video because it does apply, so don't let it fly, okay? Um, I want to give you a little bit of background. I like to leave people background if you're new here, even if you're not. Um, I was in a relationship for four and a half years. It ended due to infidelity. After that ended, I kind of got back into my alone era in a sense, and I started doing things for myself because I lost a little bit of myself while in a relationship. Um, I started doing dance videos on TikTok. I went viral on TikTok, not for the dance videos, consequently. And I kind of dove into that and kind of created a platform. And um, as I've mentioned in previous videos, I'm trying to get back into dance. But in again with that, I've been single three plus years, or it's like three years before in August. And I've kind of opened myself up to potentially dating, but it's still a very scary thing. But I do know there are people who follow me or people who are in contact with me that's dealing with the same thing of like alone versus lonely. Um, being in your alone era, what to do, why, what are the benefits of it, like the cons and the pros and all that. So we're just going to hit that topic on today's video. If I have something in the video that I didn't touch on, you want me to elaborate a little bit more on, definitely feel right free to write in the comments. Thank you for everyone who's been um, liking the videos, comments, sharing. I love engaging with you all in the comments, so we're going to get right into it. Always, if you know, if you see me divert my eyes, it's because I'm looking at my notes. And my notes are a little bit scattered today, but when are they not? So let's get into it. Number one. Um, because y'all know I like numbers. Number one, you will not be alone forever. I think that's the thing. Some people be like, oh my goodness, no one loves me. I'm just going to be alone forever. This is my destiny. It is not made for humans to have no social interactions with no one else. And I know we have like introverts and people that don't really go out and stuff like that. But like, it's really not made for us to be lonely. The introverts just deal with it a little bit better because they just like being alone. So they can deal with it a little bit better. And I think that's why I struggled a little bit with my alone era. It's because I'm so gravitating to people. Like I want to be around other people. Not saying I need to be in a relationship, but it's just like people. I like being around people. Loneliness is temporary. So I decided to Google what's the definitions of alone and the loneliness. We just know that alone sounds better than lonely. Like lonely is like you down in the dumps. Like you ain't got no friends. Don't nobody want to be around you. And alone is just like you taking that time to be alone. So per Google, the definition of alone is having no one present. Another definition is on one's own. Loneliness is um, sad because one has no friends or company. And um, also another definition is without companions. So I can get the loneliness feel, but just imagine, I've heard stories and I've actually been in a situation where you can be around, surrounded around a group of people and feel lonely. Have you ever felt like that? Like, it doesn't make sense that I can be surrounded around people and still feel lonely, but it is real and it does happen. That's why we want to change that lonely loneliness, the, the fear of FOMO, missing out, being without one's company to alone and just being present, meaning that you're alone with yourself, your thoughts, and you're thinking through what makes you you as a person while you're alone. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, the next step is to get to know you. So you by yourself, you might as well, t no, well not talk to yourself in a crazy way. Might as well talk to yourself, get to know yourself, see what you like to do. Because I know I always gravitate towards women because they say women have it harder. But like I look at like mothers or people that have women as you wear so many hats. You're like the mom, you're the nurse, you're the caretaker, you go to work, you come home, you cook, you have the kids with the homework. And sometimes we tend to lose ourselves when we're in a relationship. So being alone would allow you to be able to have all of this time to yourself, to focus on yourself, to find out who you are. Sidebar, for those who don't know, I am single and I don't have any kids. So the husband, kids aspect, I am taking advantage of my lonely, long, alone era because when I do have kids and a husband, I, knew, I know that my attention will drift. I've seen it happen in relationships that I've been in where my attention will drift to like um, coming together with the other person versus like 
still having that alone or that part of me to myself. It says a lot of us, which I just mentioned, are so eager to learn, get to know, be attached to somebody else. Be attached to yourself. Link up with yourself, be Beyonce, me, myself, and I. That's all I got to the end. It's what I found out. And you better find out all you can find out about yourself and be acquainted in love and hone in on yourself as much as you can while you're by yourself. Take it as a gift, as a blessing. Don't treat it as like a punishment or something that you're going through that's um, not causing you to be your full person because you will be your full person when you learn to be alone. And you can't really be attached to and learn take some time to learn somebody else without fully learning yourself um when i say get to know yourself what do you like to do what are your hobbies what are your likes what are your dislikes um do you like to go read it i mean do you like reading do you like exercising dancing swimming um what are your passions what are your goals what are your morals what do you believe like really get to know yourself like for real for real we think we know what we want in someone else, but you can't really know what, some, what you want in someone else if you don't even know what you want in yourself. So take that as a gift. Take that as a time to come acquainted with yourself. I also used to do solo dates. If you would like me to do a video on like 10 or 15 places or things to do for solo dates, let me know in the comments because that's a video that I may do anyway. But if y'all want me to do it, I'm obviously going to push it up the list. Um, Number three, create a life for yourself. So um, when we're alone... Um, the, the top three to four that I post on, cause we have relationship while you do want to focus on a relationship, but if you're alone at this point, that's probably not your full po focal point. So the other topics you can focus on is career, family, finance, and travel. Career and finance kind of go together. Like in your career, are you in the job that you want to be? Are you happy? Do you want to go for a promotion? Do you want to change positions? If you are not in career, but you're in school, are you going for the major you want to go for? Are you taking advantage of all of the activities and things that you can do in your school? Um, family. Do you spend quality time with your family? If that is a pleasant experience for you, it's not for all. Um, and travel. I, I don't do solo travel, so... I can't help you on there, but like if you are like solitude and you like to be by yourself, would you consider taking a road trip or going to I've seen like a lot of videos, people go to Jamaica, Puna Kana, like different places going by themselves and like content with that. I ain't got there yet. But um kudos to them, you know what I'm saying? Number four, indulge in something that brings you joy. I talked about it in my last video. Like we um like the what is it, human I mean the Pavlo, it's something with sight. The Pavlo where they um like if you give the dog a present or like child, I don't know what it is. And I was a psych major, I should know it. But basically when you train a and you don't want to say like I be having to worry about what I say. Well, I was like when you train a dog, when they lay down, you give them a treat or something like that. Sometimes we have to reward ourselves. Like, you know, when we was growing up, we didn't get no allowance for doing chores. It was like you lived in this house, I feed and I clothe you. Um, that's that's your payback. But now kids want to get paid for doing chores, like they mow the lawn, they want to get paid for that. And I think that is a good system. Don't get me wrong, because I actually did a whole PowerPoint on why I thought I deserved an allowance, because I was cleaning the kitchen, I was cleaning the bathroom, I was doing all kinds of things, and that's a story for another day. But um, when you know that you have something to look forward to, it makes you want to do it more. Um, some ways that you can indulge, and I looked at mostly entertainment, and I don't know if that's the correct way to go, because I don't want to use food as a way like oh um i've been doing so good on my long era journey let me um have a sunday or something like that and if that works for you that works for you but the four avenues that i thought about were tv shows music reading podcasts and i also threw listening to music so like giving yourself like oh i'm gonna watch an hour of tv today or i rarely get a chance to watch movies but sometimes i do plan it out where i'm like i'm gonna watch a movie today because that's something i don't mind doing by myself that's something i can kind of like be okay with i watch my um shows i laugh i cry whatever depending on the genre of the movie and reading is obviously y'all know that's that's my bad and um podcasts i haven't dove into many podcasts but sometimes like when you're cleaning up and you're doing things by yourself you're driving in your car you can turn on some music you can turn on a podcast something you can kind of relate to okay number five which is my favorite um is reflection um you can look at this in certain ways i am 
I don't like to say religious or spiritual. I don't know which one is the correct term to describe me, but I do believe in God and I do um, like to hone in and lean on my faith. And I feel like as a human or as a person, I can do better. So when I'm in this alone era, this is the time for me to be more connected to God, to pray more, to fast more, to see what I really want and to lean and depend on him that he will supply all my needs according to his riches and glory. <laughs> And sometimes when you're in a relationship, you notice when you get in a relationship, it's all about Bay. My Bay did this, me and Bay going out. And we tend to forget about God, universe, creator, whatever you um, call them. And I want to be able to make sure that I hone in on that and I have their prayer life and I have that relationship that I want with him first before I try to indulge in other relationships, romantic or platonically. But also in this reflection period, you can do journaling. Um, you can do meditation, um, therapy, just getting in a quiet space, being quiet with your thoughts, quiet with like who you are and then a long presence of knowing that it's okay. And it's not, and it's not, um, a bad thing to feel bad about being alone. Don't get me wrong because it's like, you saying all these good things and I see the benefits and everything, but I just don't want to be alone. And that's okay because a lot of us feel that way. But in this time that you are alone, appreciate the time that you have because you have people in relationships wishing they was alone. You have people who have kids wishing they didn't have kids. So, you know, there's a time and a place for everything. And I didn't mention this, but I wrote down time is easily wasted and hard to get back. Yesterday, there will never be another yesterday. Today, there will never be another today. Tomorrow, it'll be a never, never be another tomorrow. Time is easily wasted and hard to get back. So if you spend... you. While you're alone, spend all of the time that you can to get to know yourself, love, learn, and do the most that you can for yourself so that when you do transition to um, relationships or whatever you need where you are acquainted with other people, you know that you know what you want. You, um, you know when people coming to you with the bull, you ain't going to take nothing because you don't have no time. Whether it's three days, three weeks, three months, or three years. Three with three days could be a long time to somebody, could be a short time to somebody. Three years could be a long time to somebody, a short time to somebody. You are the one that determines how time will be present in your life and what, what you'll choose to give your time to, to yourself first, so that when you do come into contact with other people, it will be like those friendships and things will just flourish and it will mean it will make sense. It will be meaningful because you took the time to get to know you. And that transitions me to number six, which is not really number six, it's to take initiative. So, a lot of us, um, we're used to people talking to us, people coming to us, coming up to us, saying hey or whatever. But once you find out who you are, and if you are at that period where you want to create meaningful, romantic, platonic, whatever relationships with other people, being surrounded other people, as I just mentioned, you know what you like, what you don't like, what you'll take, what you won't take. Sometimes you have to take the initiative to be the one to start the conversation. Talk to that person. You may go to like the same Pilates class with somebody. You see this young lady. You find out she y'all follow each other on Instagram. You find out you have the same likes. It could be something as simple as just going to get a cup of coffee. We ain't got to go take a trip to Disney World. It's just like making that initiative, that step to like reach out and just do something aside from yourself, especially if you're not the one that normally makes the first move. And then you find that likeness, likeliness within others that you see with yourself because you didn't spend time with yourself and you didn't got it together, right? So, though, let's do a recap. You know, we got to do a recap. So, number one is to remember that you won't be alone forever. Loneliness is temporary. Number two is to get to know yourself. And when I mean get to know yourself, I mean truly get to know yourself. The ins, the outs, the ups, the downs, the goods, the bads, the roundabouts, the roller coasters, the, the highs, lows, all of that. Number three, create a life for yourself. Get in tune with your finance, your career, your family, things that bring you joy. Number four, indulge in things that bring you joy, whether it's like um, like we talked about the TVs, movies, etc. Number five is reflection. Take time to like write out your feelings, think about the things that you want, and be intentional about it. I don't know if I um, wrote that anywhere, but um, when you are thinking about what you want, you want to be specific, be intentional. And that, so you know what you're looking for. And number six is to take the initiative. Sometimes people will come talk to you and then like you can uh, reciprocate, reciprocate, but sometimes you gotta be the one to like make the first move. And I hope you're okay with that. I hope that these tips or these points that I have pointed out 
uh, resonated and if you haven't heard anything new hopefully you can apply something please write in the comments and let me know which ones you have um like taken advantage of in your alone era and some that may be new to you that you learned today that you figured out that you want to implement in your future alone era journey alone girlies we are not going to be alone forever mr right um mr right that friend, that family member, whoever is going to come along and they're going to be the complete puzzle after this time. is. And just because you're in a relationship doesn't mean that your alone error stops. You still have to take that time to reflect and be by yourself and learn you even when you're getting to learn somebody else. But I hope this helped. I hope you have a great day on purpose. Why? Because if you said so, give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Click the notification bell so you don't miss any more of my videos. And comment, share. Love y'all. See y'all in the next video.